time, we're going to invite Reverend Wilkinson Francis, and he's going to lead us in our invocation. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for the life of our dear sister, Christine Janet Clark. We ask now that you will strengthen the family. Bless them in a special way, Lord. Be with them now. Uh, open doors for them that they cannot see and help, to, help them to realize and to know that you are their strength. You are their guide. You are their keeper. You are their life. And so we commend them into your hands, into your safekeeping, into your care, and into your love. And we ask now that you will just be with them, comfort them by your Holy Spirit. And may they rest, Lord, in you and find that peace that passes all understanding. We ask now that you will just be with the family one more time. Be with this graveside um, service today as we lay our love, our love to rest. We ask now and we thank you for the life of, of, of Christine Clark and how she have lived her life. A, a living example for many of us who, who follow in her footsteps. We pray now, Lord, that you will just be with this family one more time. Be with our pastor who will uh, present just, just, a, just, a, just a bird's eye view. And be with all of us now, the funeral home and everybody else now around this grave. In Jesus' name, amen. At this time, we'll sing the congregational hymn, When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrow like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. We'll sing the first and last verses only. When peace like a river attendeth, when sorrows like sea billows roll, Whatever my lot, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul, it is well, it is well, it is well with my soul. My sin, oh, the bliss of this glorious thought. My sin, not in part, but the whole. Is nailed to the cross, is nailed to the And I bear it no more. Praise the Lord. Praise the, Lord. Praise the Lord, oh my soul, oh, my soul. It, is well. it is well, it is well, with my soul, with my soul, it is well, we must sing this verse, and Lord haste the day, and Lord haste the when my fate shall be sight, fate, the clouds be rolled back, be rolled back, the trump shall resound, the trump shall re, and the Lord shall descend. Even so, it is well. With Christian soul, it is well, it is well with my soul, it is well, it is well with my soul. We certainly bless the Lord for that testament in song that with the soul of Christine Janet Clark. It certainly 
is well. The Apostle Paul declares these words in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 50 to 58. He says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. He goes on to say that this mortal must put on immortality and that this corruptible will put on incorruption. So when this mortal shall put on immortality, this corruptible shall put on incorruption, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. Oh, death, you have no power over Christine. Where is your sting? Oh, grave, where is your victory? So then, in as much as it pleased Almighty God, in his infinite wisdom to take out of this world the soul of our dead sister, Christine Daklock, it's now our assignment to commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes. Dust to dust, looking for the general return and the resurrection of the saints, I heard a voice from heaven say right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. We are assured that Christine would have died in the Lord, for henceforth saith the Spirit, for she does rest from her labors and her works do follow her. We certainly bless the Lord that we have that hope in Christ Jesus. There will be a happy meeting in heaven, I know. When we see the many loved ones we've known here below gathered on the blessed hilltops with hearts all aglow, that will be a glad reunion day and some glad morning we shall see Jesus in the air. So we bless the Lord for the life, the legacy, the impact, the influence, a life well lived, a life well run. Sleep on. Take your temporary rest here. We certainly do love you, but Jesus loves you best. You are safe in the arms of the Lord. You now send to him, City and Glad Reunion Day. There will be a happy meeting in heaven. When we see the many loved ones we've known here below Gathered on the blessed hilltops with hearts all aglow That will be a glad reunion day Oh! That will be a glad reunion day. There within the holy city, there within the holy city, we'll sing and rejoice. Praising Christ the blessed Savior. Harder. Tell him how we came to love him and make him a. That will be a glad reunion day. Oh.
day, a wonderful day. Glad day, a glorious day. Oh, glad day, a wonderful day. Oh, it's a glad day. That with all the holy angels. If I may have your attention for a moment, please, to Reverend Diane Francis, Senior Pastor of First Baptist Church, to the fine officers and members as well, family, friends, good afternoon. An author once wrote, life is but a stopping place, a pause in what's to be, a resting place along the road to sweet eternity. Our destination is a place far greater than we know. For some, the journey is quicker. For some, the journey is slow. And when the journey finally ends, we'll claim a great reward and find an everlasting peace together with the Lord. Friends, the family would like to say thank you for your prayers, your telephone calls, your affections, other acts of kindness shown to them during this, their hour of bereavement. For this, they are indeed indebted and appreciative. Their prayer for you is that God would bestow his richest blessing upon each of you here today. Family, on behalf of the management and staff of Rescue Memorial Mortuary and Crematorium, I take this opportunity to say thank you for entrusting us with the care of your loved one and this funeral service. Our prayer for you is that God would continue to strengthen you, comfort you, and keep you at this difficult time. To our dearly departed, Christine Janet Clark. Earthly pil pil Pilgrimage, September 8th, 1971. Heavenly Pilgrimage, September 8th, 2021. May her soul and all the souls of the faithfully departed rest in peace. And on behalf of the management and staff of Lakeview Memorial Gardens, we would like to extend our sincerest sympathies to you, your family and friends. We want you to know that so thoughts and prayers are with you and we're indeed honored that you have chosen Lakeview for Sister Clark's final resting place. May her soul rest in peace. Let us look to the Lord and be dismissed. Now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the love of God, the sweet fellowship of his Holy Spirit be with us now, henceforth, now and forevermore. And all the people say, Amen. Glad day, wonderful day.